Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting reading two episodes. Mm, God, how should I word this? Well, you know what? No, I think this is how we're gonna word this. Episodes 25, 26, and 27, or the final episode of season one plus the first two episodes of season two, which I'm still going to call it 26 and 27. I, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm really scared about how this finale is going to go, indicating how it's going to start for season two and see uh, see how everything's going to go for my boys and everybody else. So hopefully this like, thing caused me to do good because I need another celebration because you know last time because like, woo, God. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode 25 and three, two, one, go. We're all getting up. Oh, God. so fucking scared like need to get a much you know to get a win please i mean we gotta win the last time but like uh oh god exactly excuse me oh god
Let's hope so. I know, because it's so nerve-wracking, like, <sighs> this is worse than, like, an audition or anything, like, oh my god, like, how even being a fucking YouTuber and making your first fucking YouTube video, you're like, oh my god, I don't think anyone's gonna like me. It's been about three hours, right? <laughs> of course. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Please, cause come on, damn it. <laughs> Look at that. They just tried cards. <laughs> oh. How many? Yeah. Isn't that a little too much, though? Really? Oh! Are you kidding? Exactly. But damn, he might, like, once again, he might be the light yography of this series. Damn. That's now five.
Or watch a movie or TV. Hmm. Unfortunately. Yeah. But in a way, they kind of have to be. Get that. And how long did that take? <laughs> We might be on hour four as of now. Huh. I'd just be like, call me tomorrow. <laughs> No, you don't say that. You guys did good. 
really good. Like, oh my god. You do not play with my fucking heart today. It's Sunday, for Christ's sake. It really is. <laughs> How can you play fucking cards or anything with this shit going on? I couldn't do it. Oh, oh. They're done. Perfect for that.
it's okay, motherfucker, son, school. <laughs> because he can. But like, damn. Mm. Yeah, don't be. It'll be fine. He might have other things to talk about as well, though. Maybe. we'll find out okay but honestly for this to end like this for season one initially was really sweet and they finally talked on the phone i mean not only getting a highlight of like having your series your baby 
getting to be <laughs> a full time series to where fans and people who love anime and manga get to see it. That is a goal, and they finally accomplished it. But still, even though they've accomplished one of their goals, they still have so many, many other things to do. It is sad that Fukuda did not get his. Because I was assuming he kind of was. Because, I mean, it's Fukuda. But, you know, it's okay. I, I think, you know, probably by the end of the series overall, when we get to the, I'm guessing, the third and final season of this series, um, a lot of good things will happen for characters that didn't get where they're too, they ugh, they truly want to be at this time. But it, it's weird how Hatsuri is bringing in a new editor, and I wonder how that's going to be for our boys right now, and especially because sometimes, oh my god, oh, I, I cannot believe I'm about to compare this. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to compare this kind of like the situation of the rights to Spider-Man. Okay, so remember at the time, this was way before Tom Holland became our current Spider-Man for Disney and Sony at the time. Go back to the year, I think it was 2015, 2016 of when Andrew Garfield was going to play Peter Parker in the Amazing Spider-Man trilogy. Movie one came out and everybody like I think months before the movie came out um it was very skeptical. You had people who were still proud of Tobey Maguire's like performance as Spider-Man and like they're like he is Peter Parker nobody else can be him and as someone who grew up on those three films and it, I kind of felt the same way, but I was like, I need someone who's almost still, like, maybe kind of closer to my age because Tim McGuire is, like, hella older than me. I'm 27, and I think that man is, like, 40 now, I believe. So when when the newer version came out, when The Amazing Spider-Man came out, everybody was very skeptical, including myself. And so um, one of my friends and I, we decided to go see it opening weekend. Uh, no, I, I saw it with my dad, and then I think about uh, two months later, I saw it with one of my friends. So when I saw it with my dad and my cousin, I, I was still skeptical at the time. And then by the time we finished the movie, I was really, truly excited. I think I, uh, Andrew Garfield did an amazing job on what he did and everything and such, and even Sony with hiring the right screen uh writers writers themselves the cast the crew everything because i think at the time of this like especially even now like looking back on it and seeing who also could have been casted for this show and who was in the i mean the show movie and who was in the uh the running for not only peter parker but also gwen at the time was it could have been a very very different movie than who we all got casted at the time so we all know that first movie did a beautifully amazing good job then the second movie was coming and, and i think the second movie came out about like a year later and i remember um i didn't go see it me and my the the one who i went to go see the first movie with almost like a month after i went to go see it with my dad we decided to go see the second movie together and we were we came out of it more oh god <laughs> at a crossroads we we didn't like it but we didn't hate it we just as much as everybody else we all know that the amazing spider-man 2 did not do the greatest in the box office um for what sony um and I think it's Paramount Studios for it. It's either, no, 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 Columbia, I think. It, it's one of them. I don't remember. Um, but for what Sony wanted it to be. And so because of that situation, um, that was when Sony was talking the deals with Disney. And Disney came in and was like, let's do it like this, this, that, and the third. And so what I like to say about The Amazing Spider-Man 2, even though it is still a good movie, it's what this is what happens when you kind of get new people in looking at our their new man I mean editor coming in with all these brands making new ideas and this could either make or break them this could either hurt them really really bad or this could make them it to be probably one of the greatest mangas of all time um at the end of this series and such but sometimes when you have a little too too many freaking people in the goddamn kitchen 
relative speech, please take that with a grain of salt. But when you have too many people in the writer's room or somewhere, especially when you're making like a movie, TV show, or whatever, when you have too many people in there together, one minute your movie goes like this, then it goes completely different, and then it goes and ends up like this and such. And so that's why The Amazing Spider-Man 2 is one of those types of movies where it started out like it was a love story overall, but then at the same time it jumbled up with a different, like several different things. And by the time you finish the movie, nobody knows what the hell the movie is. And you're sitting here like, damn, I was expecting to be like, have the shit like <laughs> punched out of me being coming out of this amazing second film and you feel like you got cheated so that sinister six thing that they were supposed to do any other thing that they were supposed to do after the amazing spider-man movie two came out got bombed and then next thing you know like i said disney came in the savior bought the rights so technically they have like a 50 50 right with sony and that is why now tom holland's peter parker is now officially in the mcu and so it, it's like a damned if you do damned if you don't situation because there have also been other movies tv shows and series that also have had that same predicament look at a show that could be that has lasted at least seven to ten years on a network and you're like how in the world is this show still on freaking television how can you still get ideas for it like as someone who used to watch supernatural and then when that show finally fucking ended i was like how in the world are y'all gonna finally tie in so many freaking years like i came into the show when that thing was like on season six I didn't binge the first few seasons. My mom had been on the damn shows at the beginning. And she eventually dropped the show. Or like, okay. For a show that I've been with from the beginning. But then I dropped it. Freaking Arrow. Uh, and how that ended. And <laughs> Because that is something I don't like talking about. But it, it's just. I'm really truly scared about this new air, um, this new editor. Because you don't know what in the world they could bring. He can bring in something good and new. That could help them. But then at the same time. It could really hurt them. So. It's, once again, it is a gamble. No matter who you meet in industries, whether it's entertainment or whatever, you are playing a gamble with anything. Especially if your show, movie, or whatever gets a sequel or a season two and you're like, okay, we still want to cater to people who really enjoyed season one and also, but we want new things. And the next, you know, sometimes your story gets a little too complicated and then you don't really want to add time travel into the mix because time travel kind of fucks it up. No offense. <laughs> American Horror Story, I'm talking to you, even though I loved it, <laughs> no matter what. But, um, yeah, you don't want to add TT because then it's like, mm, good time travel isn't always really the best. But, yeah, 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 yeah. Just be very mindful about, you know, anything that you really do and especially when people come in with new ideas and this because you never really truly know but yeah go ahead and pause the video and i'll see you guys in one second for episode 26 okay all right episode 26 in three two one go Yeah. <laughs> 
that is her. Because it looks like her. Can we just talk about the fact that Mirona is kind of like the cutest little fanboy? I'm still skeptical of him, though. Yeah, why, though? Gotcha. Yeah. Exactly. I know, I thought he would have stayed a little bit longer. Mm. So we wanted it just as much as you guys. Because you never know what's going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't think you'll be a downgrade. I think you'll be a really good upgrade. <laughs> Compare that to, okay, I'm trying to compare that to freaking U.S. dollars, but mm, I can't. I'm not the greatest at math. I mean, I am, but like when it comes to converting, mm -mm. that's probably like what five hundred dollars, maybe. No. One to mm, I have to redo it again. Hold on, I fucked up. <laughs> well, I mean, of course, it's going to be the three people who are in the opening. I mean, he. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my god. He is one of them, but, you know, it's the girl and the guy.
Ja. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> Maybe so. I mean, but hold on. Shouldn't you guys have like a contract just in case to sign everything down and then let someone read it over for them? I mean, they're just minors. But damn. If it wasn't, you wouldn't be here. <laughs> exactly, because burnout is not the greatest thing. Really? Just remember, you have to be professional. <laughs> Can you bring a plus one? I feel like I've heard her voice before. And she's adorable too, oh my god! Because <laughs> Kaya probably will get jealous.
And that's what you really need. You want someone to know what the fuck they're doing. If you don't get anybody who knows what the fuck they're doing, you're screwed. Exactly. Oh, and I got a GPS in there, too? Shit. <laughs> Do you want to go to the store and maybe get a change of clothes? You guys are so cute. <laughs> and keep it in your pocket and don't lose it. See, like, look, they're all trash professionals. <laughs> but it's okay. Really? Do we have a really nice tuck jacket that, you know, my show could wear? And then the ACG. <laughs> He looks like I'm. Um, oh my god, what the fuck was his name in Death Note? I can't remember his name. Oh my god, oh shit, because he looks so much like him. Was it talk me? Oh, fuck me. Jesus, I can't remember. Well, I like his arrogantness. I mean, but it had to be that good. Uh -huh. <laughs> I mean, AJ, in a way, he's weird just like you. <laughs>
Mm. Oh, well, damn. Excuse me. <laughs> I really like him. I didn't like the way that ended. If she is getting upset slash depressed, if there's something wrong with her, we need to find the bottom of it right the fuck now. This is a really good introduction to season two, and I'm honestly truly really excited to see how season two really is going to up the stakes for these two, and also Azuki as well. Hopefully, Kaya finds, like, what she wants to do as well, because, I mean, Kaya is still, like, she's, like, my second favorite girl. Even though, because Azuki's number one, because thank you! But <laughs> I, 
I just really hope this works out for everyone and that it's gonna be good. I mean, meeting the new characters as well was very interesting. At the beginning of, like, going going to the end of 25 and being like, oh shit, they got a new editor and saying what I said and having that first video be, like, 33, 33, 34, 35 minutes long, I didn't mean for it to be 35 minutes long. But I just, in that way, that instantly reminded me of the situation of why The Amazing Spider-Man 2 failed at the end and then why, you know, Tom Holland is our current Spider-Man. So hopefully, you know, we don't get anything else because I don't want to see, I don't want it to be so many years later and we get another like freaking sequel because I think a lot of people are really tired of getting reboots and remakes of same things. But yeah, this was really good and oh my god, I'm so excited. I just, something tells me that whatever Azuki is going through, it's not the greatest. And so I feel sad for whatever she is going or dealing with at the time and such. And I guess she doesn't want to tell Mashiro, of course, because number one, they're not in a relationship yet. They're in the friendship stage and such. And so I don't think she wants to burden him with the fact that he's getting success and whatever she's currently going through, she doesn't want him to be upset and be saddened for her because typically you know friends family boyfriend girlfriends whatever when you tell someone you're going through something of course they're going to be like what's wrong what can I do to help some some people will not everyone but you know people who are really truly close to you and really care for you they will but sometimes there are people especially when you're going through things who don't want you to know anything about what in the world is happening to them because it's like I don't want to be a burden this is that and the third so I really hope and pray that Azuki can get through this especially because we're this is the final episode I'm about to watch for today and then officially after that I will be done for my day but this was really good and I'm honestly really okay so I think it's mm, okay so the boy the youngest boy the 19 year old boy he he seems a little standoffish to me. The girl, she's adorable. I love her. The older guy, he's he's very, very smart and he knows his shit. Like I said, you want to get someone who knows what the fuck they're doing and not someone who who doesn't because it's really hard to find someone with really good experience in honing someone's craft and making it be bigger and better and ish like that. But yeah, this was a really good episode. The party was interesting and such. Heck, you made me want to drink, but you know, I, I haven't had alcohol in like a while. I mean, you know, because I have alcohol on special occasions and ish like that. But yeah, in a way, this was a special occasion for them. So once again, congratulations, my babies. But go ahead and pause the video and I will see you guys in one second for episode 27. Okay, final episode and three... Two, one, go. Do you want to talk about it? Are you sure?
<laughs> well, you know, some people like it when it's gold. Well, Taka, you kind of feel a little shy. I thought he would, like, talk a little bit. Damn. Still a little too quiet. She might be like just a couple of weeks in. No, it's fine. At least you guys get to spend time together. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, because, you know, especially when you're around a whole bunch of guys, you feel kind of awkward. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Seriously, Taco, what the fuck is with, like, the attitude-ness? Okay. You might as well.
I think it's just because he really, truly cares about it. I mean, if he didn't, he would just say things that really wouldn't make sense. Oh. it all. No worry, she'll come around. Are you sure? So you're just going to stay here longer? Are you sure? Oh my god, that MP4 player is so old, oh my god! You want more? Yeah. But like I said, you want more. And it's okay to want more. Yeah, honestly, Tadam is very interesting. Yeah, because what do you say? Mm
be. I just want to hug so bad. You don't have time! Me cry. Oh my god, I'm already tearing up. <sighs> Of course he is.
Of course. You would end it right there, yeah, SOB. God damn it. <sighs> okay. Azuki, 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 baby. Uh, this was a really hard decision for her to make, but I think it was the best decision. Doing a photo book like that, especially at the age she is, I mean, she's a high school student and everything, and I get the fact is that, you know, um, in the industry of entertainment you you want them to do something like that and such so that I can you know broaden their horizon you know that they can have like a certain audience you know under their belt and it's like that especially you know think about it with like most like young celebrities or actors and actresses especially like young girls who are like Excuse me, 16, 17, 18, going on 19. Like, once they get older, they're going to want a lot of more mature roles because they're not a little kid anymore. And everyone starts looking... Like, once they get get to, like, 18, 19 specifically, or 17, 18, 19, um, that is when they look at them not as a kid anymore, but as almost, like, quote-unquote, and I hate saying this, a sexualized object and such. I mean, that's the current situation with what Millie Bolly Brown and her ish and such. Cause she, I think she's 18, 17, 18, or she's one of the three. And the situation, cause, cause it's been, it's been talked about a lot, um, in a lot of videos that I have seen on YouTube and then, you know, headlines and it's like that, how she is friends, um, with celebrities that are a little bit older than her and such and how it's like oh like they could look like you know the p word because i'm not gonna say it because it might be triggering for some people um but it, it's just like think about that and that's the same and it's not only for like girls it's also for guys as well especially who are also around that age because they're coming into their own and ish they're about to not be taken 
like a kid anymore they're going to be like an adult and such and it's still weird to see someone who is like okay let's say I grew up with some kid and stuff but I'm a couple years older than them yeah they got a crush on me when I'm like 15 or 16 or whatever and then and then by the time they are you know essentially like quote-unquote legal me or someone who was around the same age as me tries to go for them because that just seems like hella freaking weird i've I've even seen like tiktok videos about that situation but i am glad that she chose to not do it because who knows what would have happened it's a situation that most like female say you have to kind of go through um i know there's like one one of my other like personal favorite one and i think she's around the same age as me and i think she has a photo book and there are a couple of gadus that i do follow slash models on my instagram and all my twitter and shit like that who also kind of really do almost the same thing to the point where it is possibly nude but i mean you you do whatever the fuck you want to do you want to do this then you better be the best damn person of whatever the fuck you want to do because it's your choice at the end of the day it shouldn't matter about the pros or cons of this is that and the third or even you know what your parents say but if you want to do for it, do something go for it but they yeah you are going to get a little you know depressed about something because it is one of the most like hardest decisions of your career slash life but i thank god that she was able to still find it have another audition you know just in case and i think this is going to be really really good for her and i'm once again i'm glad that she didn't go the route that i thought she was initially going to do because uh, it would have been a little awkward but i understand you know if she did choose that why she would have chosen and stuff but so whatever she chose i'm still happy with it the fact is that she didn't but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episodes 25 26 and 27 of bakuman if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day join the matchup squad and of course i will see you guys officially y'all next friday for patreons and next wednesday for everybody else for episode 28 29 and 30 but until then i will see you guys all next time bye